we bear witness there is no God but one. There is no God with him. There is no God besides him. There is no God before him. And there is no God equal to him. We thank him for being the true sender of all holy prophets and of all holy apostles. We thank him for the greatest way that he has established since he's been God. And that is the way of holiness. The way of holiness has no beginning and it has no ending. I am grateful to God for our ministers, to the bishops, the elders, and ministers from different locations, and to our brothers and sisters that are assembled here, you that's in all the classrooms here, all the classrooms is taken, and, and, and there's no room in them. Uh, some is in the hallways and whatnot, and truly this is the Lord's doing. Amen. We are grateful for God's goodness because it is He that has brought this to pass. No man can do this, or no men can do this unless God be with them. We are grateful because the laws of God is so perfect, so infallible, and it is designed not just to lead us to the straight path, but show us how to stay on the straight path. I am grateful for the Many, where's the double D? Because I don't see my paperwork in front of me. How many was baptized for the year? Where's the double D at? Tell double D I need my paperwork so we can let people know how many was baptized so far. Amen. I want to let everybody know because I just get pleasure out of making the devil angry. One of you brothers find where double D is, he may be upstairs and tell him, give me my report. Bible says by faith, the elders obtain a good report. I want to thank all the ministers that are here and the different ministers that's in the foreign countries and the other brothers that's here in America that wasn't able to make it. I want to thank you for your hard labor, them that are here and the different branch temples. Ministers that's here in America, in the Bahamas, in Jamaica, in Trinidad, in Barbados, in Europe, in India, in Africa. All the numbers are not in. But that's still good. The Lord has brought us from a long way and choir was scheduled to sing. I was upstairs. I don't know whether they sung yet, did they? Well, Dan should have called the choir before he called me. So, but God willing, we'll let the choir sing me out. Yeah, I'll let you sing me out. Amen. Then everybody can join in. We want to go back to that old landmark. Television viewers, this is the greatest religious program that's designed from God to cast out that devil that's in you. The Bible says we ourselves were sometimes foolish, deceived, serving divers lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after the love of God toward men appeared, not the works of righteousness that we have done, but by his mercy, he saved us. 
and all of us is here today by God's mercy. Now, I just want to repeat some of the announcements that was made for you that are here and to our brothers and sisters in the different temples around the world. We believe in upholding the best quality of our programs that's being aired on social media. And I want everyone to please pay attention that are watching and you that are here. So I'm asking all brothers and sisters, I know you are so enthusiastic about the word of the Lord, and I thank God that you are. But I'm asking all brothers and sisters that may record these meetings on your cell phone, do not upload them on internet, not on your personal site, not on the church website. And the reason why I'm asking you to do this, your cell phone is not a television camera. And I don't want something that looks like just anything representing the church being on social media. So I'm asking you, you that have upload services, I know you mean well, but I believe in a high standard of quality of work. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? So you that have put services on social media, on your website, on the church website, from your phone, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. So I'm asking you, take it down. I know you mean well, but take it down. I want nothing but the best quality representing God and the church, but on social media and every other forms of media. So please, you that are watching, and you that are here, take it down immediately. Now, brothers and sisters, when you go to the church website, as you can see, we're still raising funds for the completion of our new headquarters temple. And as you can see, we have to get in our main auditorium because even our gymnasium is, well, we can't hold them. Sometimes the brothers tease me, and they still tease me. They say, you know what? By the time we get in that main auditorium, we're not going to be able to fit in there. And you know what? They're right. The gymnasium is packed, and the classrooms are packed. And we can hold anywhere from 25 to 2,700 in the main auditorium and another thousand or thirteen or fourteen hundred in the lower auditorium. So in the main building, we can get anywhere from thirty-five to thirty-seven hundred people. But we need to get in there immediately. So I'm asking everybody's cooperation. Go to the website and you'll see the goal that we're trying to reach. And I need everybody cooperation. I would love to get into that main auditorium and look at all of you, raise your hands towards God and glorify God in him. This is what we're pushing for. All right, before we dive into the Bible, we want to call your attention to the amount and numbers are still coming in. 2018, 2018, I said, has been the year of some of the greatest progress, the greatest progress of the church. Just for 20. 18 so far 2,728 souls been down in water isn't that wonderful glory to God amen Two 
2,000. 2,000. 728 souls in one year been down in water. In one year. In the, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the Lord's doing. Amen. This include headquarters in the branch temples throughout America, Jamaica, and Bahamas, and Barbados, and Trinidad, and Europe, and other areas around the world. One year, just one year, 2018. We almost caught up to the day of Pentecost for that one year. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. God is so good. 2,728 so far. Amen. A man wrote me and said, Pastor Jennings, I don't want you to pay these fellas on social media or on television any mind that's hollering about you. We don't. The reason why we don't, because we are focused on the Lord's work. Now think of it. From 1994. From 1994 to 2018. 8,845 souls went down. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm glad for all the ministers and their faithfulness. Amen. Let us stand up and give the ministers a hand, please. To all the ministers. Thank God for all the ministers and their hard work. Thank God for all of them. Amen. I want to thank all the ministers of First Church of our Lord Jesus Christ for your dedication. Your dedication and your hard work in each location in America, in Europe, in Africa and all around the world and so many different areas of the Bahamas and the Caribbean and the work keep expanding even in this meeting we had some souls that came all the way from Australia went down in the name of Jesus Christ we thank God for that God willing we look to get into Australia next year and set up a new first church of our Lord Jesus Christ in Australia, God be our helper. God is fulfilling. The Bible said without a vision, the people perish. And I can never express my gratitude to the brothers that are faithful working together for the same objective not trying to compete but putting the Lord first at all times and never forgetting the number one priority the souls of the people that is the mission of the truth of God, viewers, and you that are here. It's a good feeling to see the different and hear the different testimonies from black, white, Asian, brown, yellow, how the word of God has opened their understanding and bring them from all sorts of religions. 
It's a lot of hard work. But it is worth it. I thank God for the testimony from my brother. I call him my older brother, Bishop Ferguson. I thank God for that. I also thank God for the remarks from Bishop Ellis as well as all the other ministers. <laughs> all right, before we dive into the Bible, let's get some letters out the way. Come on, Dan, we'll go through these letters and go to work and see what we can answer and take it apart and then take care of you. All right. Arizona, this person says, thank you. Pastor Gino James, I came across your broadcast on YouTube. Thank God for putting great preachers like you who tell the truth about it. We agree on so many things. These watered down false preachers I normally see on television are fools and not preachers. I pray God continues to give you the wisdom and the Holy Ghost continues to speak through you, brother. Thank you and God bless you, brother. This comes from Arizona. Thank you for that wonderful letter. Next letter. Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. This person says, this is sister and she gives her name from Tobago. I was told about Pastor Jennings in the month of April of the year 2018, and by June the 24th, 2018, I was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ at the Holy Convocation in High Wycombe, UK. Wonderful. The Lord Jesus set up everything in place for me to be traveling to the UK the same period that the Holy Convocation was being held, and for me to be baptized at that meeting. Mm -hmm. I can testify that the Lord Jesus has done marvelous works in my life, and I want to give back. Wonderful. As such, I continue to pray that Pastor Jennings come to the ba Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago. God willing, we look to be there. God be our helper in 2019. And mm -hmm. hold a weekend of services for the saints in Trinidad and Tobago. Yes. My family and I own and operate a small hotel, 20 rooms, on the small island of Tobago where Pastor Jennings and his ministers can stay if they so choose. Thank God for the invitation. There are other five-star hotels on the island if they wish to stay. Uh, such establishments, but my offer of accommodation is open for them. Thank you. I just want to give back and I want the word to be preached here in Tobago. Thank God for that wonderful letter. All right, next letter. Daytona, Ohio. This person says, uh, is, there a mess, is there a church affiliated with your church in Daytona, Ohio? Or Not yet. Amen. Not yet, but you can go to the closest location. It's to Detroit, but God willing, we're looking to get into Ohio. God be our helper in the, uh, 2019. God be our helper. Mm -hmm. Is there a church or affiliation with your church in Detain, Ohio, or near that that I can get rebaptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. I was attending the Pentecostal church, but after following your teaching and preaching, I would like to be baptized over again. Wonderful. If you can help me, I would be so appreciative. And she says, God bless you. Thank God for that. Mm -hmm. This letter comes from Bulgaria. I am from, from Bulgaria. I want to be baptized correctly in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> but cannot find no, near me any church or minister of God to do so. Yes. Even have not heard of a church in my country where the gospel is preached right. We have Baptist churches, Pentecostal churches, Adventist churches, Catholic churches, Eastern Orthodox churches, and so on. You have a smorgasbord. <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel the need to get right with God and to keep his commandments. Can you help me or advise me on what to do? Yes, we can. Now, we get hundreds of letters like this from all around the world. And I want to thank my baptismal committee, my brothers, Brother Mark and Brother James White. We coordinate. We actually send brothers around the world to baptize people in the name of Jesus Christ. So to the many hundreds and countless of viewers, that's right us from Saudi Arabia, from Dubai, from Pakistan, from areas of Asia, from New Zealand, from all around the world requesting to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Give us time. Give us time because we have to. This is why I tell all our ministers, all ministers are required to get your passport. And you that have not done it, you might as well speed up. Listen, whatever you do, let's do quickly. <laughs> get your passport because you never know when you're going to get a call. Not just our ministers. Uh, because of the influx of mail and the hundreds of requests internationally for want to be baptized, we have organized and enlarged our baptismal team and have trained men 
to baptize uh, because it, it's so great. Two, three, four, five just can't do it. Uh, so, and I advise all brothers who baptize, all brothers who baptize, get your passport uh, because we may send you two by two or three by three because you never know how many have to be baptized in that state, in that city, in that town, in that village, or in that country. All right, Dan. This letter comes from Belfast in Northern Ireland in the UK. All right. Good evening, Pastor Gino Jennings. Can I ask a question? Yes. Is it God's will for business seminars to be taught at churches? The Bible said where there is no law, there is no transgression. And the Bible also says be diligent in business. So if the church set aside a day where a business seminar can be given to enhance the members of the body of Christ about different forms of business that does not violate the word of God, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's just like you may give a business seminar on finance. Uh, uh, everybody needs to know how to govern themselves on a monetary basis. There are some churches that need a seminar. That way the secretary is no not to waste money, but be responsible for the church money. Yeah. Amen. So if it take a seminar to show people how to keep books, how to do a balance sheet, how to do a spreadsheet, how to keep the finance in order, the Bible says be diligent in business. So if it take a seminar to put it in check, then give them a seminar so uh, the Bible can be fulfilled. Why spend money for that which is not bread? Which means why spend money for that which is wasteful or not useful? One thing I don't believe in the church wasting money. No, no, no. I don't, I don't believe in the church wasting money. And sometimes a seminar is good because it may add insight. Sometimes the business part of the church may feel as though <clears throat> that they're doing it right <clears throat> and doing it good. But because laws change, laws change. And I don't care how much Holy Ghost you got and how much baptism. I don't care if you're baptized until they hold you down in the water until your next birthday come. <laughs> but when you come out that water, the Bible still says, be men in business. So sometimes you may have to bring someone in that know the business side of church better than some church people themselves. And uh, they can help you and train you to function better in our objective of getting the word of God done. So it's not just baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Uh, well, somebody may say, well, Pastor Jennings, where in the Bible were any of the apostles ever sent for anybody uh, that had nothing to do with the gospel? Well, there was a man Titus. named Brother Paul. Right. Uh, let's get the book of Titus, son. In the book of Titus, chapter 3, and we're at verse 13. Titus 3, 13. Bring Zenos the lawyer. This is Pastor Paul talking. That's right. He made a request. Bring Zenos the lawyer. He said, bring Zenos the lawyer and Apollos on their journey diligently and Apollos on their journey diligently that nothing be wanting unto them so the apostle Paul he had the gospel right. Zenos had legal information That's right. and the apostle Paul requests that you bring Zenos the lawyer even the apostle Paul knew that the church did not only consist of a spiritual side but it also consists of a natural side. Uh, we, we have a campus here. The law don't care who is God. <laughs> Am I right? And the law don't care who is God. But when the city come in and do an inspection, uh, if I don't have exit signs in certain places, fire extinguishers in certain places, and when they tell me, I can start jerking all I want. Come on, give me a They don't understand what is. Go ahead. So when I'm done, they may ask me, uh, Reverend Jennings, would you like some water? <laughs> and I can stand there while they're talking and start dipping. Uh, uh, dip <laughs> they're going to dip with me. He gonna be reading that paper, uh, Reverend Jennings. <laughs> Am I right? I said. <laughs> right. 
So if it takes outside, now let me give you some knowledge. We have all type of talented people in the truth of God. But certain areas of the church, their talent cannot be used by law because it would be a conflict in interest. We have accountants, we have bookkeepers, but we have financial auditors. And from a legal perspective, we cannot audit ourselves. So we have to go outside of the church and get a financial auditor. Because the Bible says, obey magistrates, and magistrates are the laws of the land. So there's nothing wrong with having a business seminar to make sure you're doing things legally and right. All right, come on, Dan. Tacoma, Washington. <laughs> yes. This person says, greeting Pastor Gino Jennings. I found you have been watching you since on YouTube for a few years now. Mm -hmm. I sent a letter for help and hoping that you would build a first church of our Lord Jesus Christ here in the wicked liberal city of Tacoma, Seattle, Washington. Thank you for that letter. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't have much, but I am, I am in my best, my best helping out in the name of the Lord Jesus. You are truly the Lord's servant because you stand boldly like the apostles and most of all, you, you sound militantly, sound militant like one and only, like the one and only master, Jesus Christ, this person says, exclamation sign. I went, to the, all, I went to almost all churches before, but nothing. No one really practices or is teaching the truth of the Holy Scriptures until I found you on YouTube. I don't go to church anymore since you, are, since you preach to come out, and as the Scripture says. And yes, of course, I don't want to worship our Heavenly Father, she says, or he says, in vain. Thank God for that. I love you all in Christ Jesus, and thank you. And this comes from Tacoma, Washington. Wonderful letter. Now, I thank God for that letter. And uh, they asked us to open up a church there. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is the same mother. She sent me a check for $100 and said, consider this as the first down payment to start a church here in Tacoma, Washington. Wonderful. Wasn't that wonderful? I get thousands and thousands of requests like this. And I would to God that I can go in every city, in every state, in every town, in every village and just set up temples, set up temples, set up temples. People are hungry. Yes, sir. And uh, all of us can bear witness because all of us sometime in our life have experienced a famine. And when you go a long time spiritually with the famine in you, you start getting weaker and start getting weaker. <clears throat> and spiritually, you don't behave right until you get the right nutrients from the book of vitamins. A bug will get in you, a virus, a parasite. It will start gnawing at your spiritual being. The only remedy, the only cure is the infallible living word of God. Amen. So Seattle, Washington, I thank you for that wonderful letter and I pray that God will bless us to open up a uh, temple in your city. God be our help. All right, next letter. This letter comes from the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Mm hmm person says, Dear Pastor Jennings, praise the Lord. Praise him. <laughs> Listening to the truth of God made many of us rethink past and present teachings in our church. Thank God for that. My question is about heaven. All right. We were taught that there were three heavens. Is that true? We also were taught that when Jesus ascended up into heavens, he went to the third heaven. Is that true? Give me Brother Solomon. Now in the book of 1 Kings chapter 8. I came out of the so-called apostolic church and I was taught the same thing. And I'm a firm believer that most preachers overlook the language of the scripture. The word heaven without an S means one. The word heaven with an S means plural. That's right. But if I just say heavens, it doesn't say how many. Right, yeah. 
It's just an S on the end of it. Now, this is the scripture that they use to say it's three heavens. First Kings chapter 8, and we'll start at verse 26. And let's see in the book of Job also can the Lord fit in heaven. That's right. Uh -huh. And now, O God of Israel, let thy word, I pray thee. This is Brother Solomon, I believe. Amen. Talking to the Lord. Give chapter and verse again. First Kings chapter 8, and we're starting at verse 26. Yes. And now, O God of Israel. O God of Israel. Let thy word, I let pray thy thee. Let word, I pray thee. Be verified. Be verified. Which thou spakest unto thy servant David, my father. Yes. But will God indeed dwell on the earth? Will God indeed dwell on the earth? Can the earth hold God? That's right. The earth can't hold God. No. The earth as planet or the earth as fleshy temples of man and woman. That's right. Not even the planet or the human race right. can hold all of God. That's right. Listen. But will God indeed dwell on the earth? Will God be dwelling the earth? Behold. Behold. The heaven. Spell it. H-E-A-V-E-N. Singular. One. And heaven, spell it, H-E-A-V-E-N. Two. Of heavens, spell it, H-E-A-V-E-N-S. Now, if it were to say it, heaven, singular, and heaven, singular, right. of heaven, right. again, singular, right. you would have to say three. That's right. right. But it says the heaven and heaven. Heaven of heavens. Of heavens. Can that's the highest heavens. How many is that? I don't know how many heavens it is. No. I don't know. That's right. I'm not going to put a number on it. That's right. I'm not going to put no number on it. That's right. Heaven. Read that again. But will God indeed dwell in, in, on the earth? Yes. Behold. Behold. The heaven. Singular. One. And heaven. Two. Singular. Of heaven. Heaven. That can be three, four, five, six, or seven more. That's right. I don't know. That's right. So I'm going to stop where the Bible stops. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm not going to add nothing. I'm not going to take nothing away. No. What did Solomon say? But will God indeed dwell on, on the earth? Uh -huh. Behold, the heaven and heaven of heavens cannot contain thee. Less. How much less this house that I have built. Let's see how big is God. Give me the book of Job. Now in the book of Job, chapter 11, and we're at verse 7. Let's see, can uh, heaven even hold God? Canest thou by searching find out God? Oh. Can you by searching find out God? Canest thou find out the Almighty? Can you find out the Almighty? Unto perfection. Unto completion. It is as high as heaven. It is as high as heaven. What canst thou do? What can you do? Deeper than hell. And hell, according to the word of God, is a bottomless pit. Bottomless. That's right. He's deeper than hell. What canst thou know? What can you know? The measure thereof is longer than the earth. Longer than the earth. And broader than the sea. Broader than the sea. If he cut off. If God cut you off. And shut up. And if he shut you up. Or gather together. Or gather together. Then who can hinder him? Who can stop him? That's right. Now. That's right. The mistake that churches have made. They narrow God to his creation. That's right. Before. There was. Heaven created. Right. There was God. For thus saith the high and lofty one. Listen at this. Now in the book of Isaiah chapter 57 and we're at verse 15. Thus saith the high and lofty one. That inhabiteth eternity. Mm. <laughs> Amen. You got to remember heaven and earth going to pass away. That's right. But God won't. That's right. right. Heavens and earth going to pass away, but God won't. No, no. From everlasting mm -hmm. to everlasting, yeah. he says, thou art God. That's right. What did he say? For thus saith the high and lofty thus one. Thus saith the high and lofty one, that, not the high and lofty three. Lofty one. The lofty one. Lofty one. Uh -huh. That inhabiteth eternity. That what? 
whose name is holy. Whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place. I dwell in the high and holy place. With him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit. Now, so I'm not going to put a number on it because the no. Bible didn't. No. And if the Bible didn't, I can't add. That's right. And I can't take away. The apostle said, I testify to every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in the book. Right. So I'm not going to put a number on it because the Bible didn't put a number on it. And what he read, what the, what the prayer that Solomon was made, Solomon didn't count three heavens. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Heaven, singular. Then he said, heaven again, singular right. of heavens, heavens. plural. That's well, right. I don't know how many more is that. That's right. I don't know how many more heavens is above the two. Now, in the book of Ephesians chapter 4. Now, your next question was, or you was taught, that when Jesus ascended, he ascended to the third heaven. Mm. I preach that he went above all heavens. That's right. Let's get some Bible. Now, in the book of Ephesians chapter 4. Follow me. And we'll start at verse 8. He figures 4 and 8. Wherefore he said. Wherefore he said. When he ascended up on high. When he ascended up on high. He led captivity he captive. Led captivity captive. And gave gifts unto and he men. And gave gifts to men. Now that he ascended. Now that he ascended. What is it? But that he also descended what first. What is it? He descended first. Into the lower parts of the earth. Into the lower parts of the earth. He, he went on down to the grave. After he died, blessed be the name of God, That's right. and the eternal spirit come out of the natural body. That's right. The body was placed in the grave where it stayed there for three days and three nights. Wonderful. The spirit, the same spirit, blessed be the name of God, that came out the body, came back in the body and quickened it, mean he Gave it a resurrection or revived it. That's right. Wonderful, wonderful. And it rose. Mm -hmm. But when it rose, it didn't, he didn't ascend up right away. No. Uh, no, he didn't do that. No. Had to stay around a little bit longer and do some more teaching. That's right. Huh? That's right. But when it came time for his ascension, mm -hmm. listen at this. In Ephesians chapter 4, we're at verse 10. All right. He that descended, he that descended is the same also that ascended. Is the same. Also, that ascended, how far? Up, far above all heavens. Wonderful. Amen. How far did he go? Far above all heavens. Wonderful. How far did he go? Far above all heavens. Now, you apostolics say he went to the third. Right. The moment you say he went to the third, that's putting the number. That's right. On that place. That's right. He could not go to what you call a third no. because no. it says the same that descended. What descended? Eternity. That's right. right. Exactly right. Amen. It That's says right. the same. The same. The same also. The eternal God descended. That's right. And the eternal God is from eternity. That's right. He is from everlasting. God comes from where he never began. That's right. That's right. All right, listen. That's right. God comes from where he never began. O oh Lord, thou that dwellest. Glory to God. Amen. God, I say, comes from where he never began. That's right. Wonderful. And when Jesus Hallelujah. ascended above all oh, heavens. heavens, where did he go? Back to eternity from everlasting to everlasting. Right. Thou art God. That's right. Amen. Amen. If he ascended far above all heavens, then he went past Creation. Far, far, far above. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. If he ascended above all heavens, Wonderful. glory to God, when it came time for him to ascend on his way up, the apostles, they saw him for a while. Yeah. After that, couldn't see him no more. That's right. He kept going. That's right. Kept going. That's right. Kept going. Far above. Kept going. Kept going. 
How far did he go? Far above all heaven. How far? Far above all heaven. How far? Far above all heaven. It doesn't matter how many heavens it is. God is above far, that. Far. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Get rid of your logic. Hallelujah. Get rid of your hermeneutics. Lay aside of your philosophy. Oh, yeah. You can't look at God with the natural eye. You have to look at God for who he is and what he is. That's right. God came from where there is no time. That's right. God that dwells. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. God comes yeah. from yeah. where there is no time. Oh, Lord. Do you hear this? Now in the book of 2nd Estrus, chapter 8, and at verse 20. 2nd Estrus. Chapter 8. You see, the Lord is in eternity That's right. looking down on the heavens. That's right. That's right. I want to say what? God is in eternity looking down through the heavens. That's right. Give me the book of Esther. Second Esther chapter 8 and we're at verse 20. Follow me. O Lord. O Lord. Thou that dwellest in everlastingness. Wait, 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 wait. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Where is God located? Thou that dwellest in everlastingness. Everlasting. Hallelujah. 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 Do you hear the Bible talk? Right. O Lord. O Lord. Thou that dwellest. Thou that dwell in everlastingness. In everlastingness. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. You just keep existing. That's right. You just keep going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's no end to you. Amen. You never stop. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why when God appeared to man, man never sees. Hallelujah. The total completion of God. That's, That's right. right. Never. That's right. Whenever Amen. God appeared to the prophets, they never seen right. the total completion never. of God. No way. Never. Hallelujah. That's why you folks who don't understand Jesus Christ is God, you say, well, if he's God, how can he be in Jordan and be in heaven? Amen. The body of the Son of God. The son of man, the prophet, the apostle, mm -hmm. the only begotten of the father, mm -hmm. that was in Jordan. That's right. The creator, the Lord, the alpha of all things, and the omega of all things, right. that was in the man That's right. while the man was standing in Jordan. That's right. The same one that was in him, God, spirit, eternal spoke from heaven that's right he was in heaven Hallelujah. he was in Christ that's right. and he was in John that's right, that's right. That's right. because Amen. John was born with the Holy Ghost that's right. Amen. not only was he in heaven Wonderful, in Christ in John, Hallelujah. but he was in humanity. Wonderful. For thy incorruptible Wonderful. spirit. Oh, let's say God. Now in the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12. Get the wisdom of Solomon, then we go back to the book of Esther. In the, in the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12, and at verse 1. Yes. For thine incorruptible spirit. Thine incorruptible spirit. Is in all things. Hallelujah. Is in what? Is in all things. Is in all things. All things. All right, let's go back to the book of Esther. And let's see where God is. Everybody all right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Listen. Back in 2 Esther chapter 8. That's, and that's a very 20. good letter. Very good question from the church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the apple's face. Apostolic faith. <laughs> Amen. All right. Come on. 2 Esther chapter 8 and at verse 20. Yes. O Lord, thou that dwellest in everlastingness. O Lord, thou that dwellest in everlastingness. Which beholdest from above. You behold from above. Things in the heaven and in the air. He's in everlastingness. That's right. Looking through the heavens. That's right. He's in everlastingness. Looking through the heavens. Which behold us from above. Which behold from above. Things in the heavens. Things in the heavens. And in the air. And things where? In the air. In the air. Whose throne. Whose throne. Is inestimable. Now. The Lord's throne. Amen. 
which is a symbol of authority, Amen. not even his throne in has a beginning. That's right. That's it. That's right. Now, let me undo the carnality of your thinking. You cannot look at the Lord's throne as you look at an earthly chair. Right. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. You cannot look at the Lord's throne. That's right. The way you look at an earthly chair that, you know, someone built a chair and, you know, add upholstery and design. Mm -mm. Uh uh. That's what? made of men. Thy throne, O God. Look at here. Now in the book of Psalms 45 and at verse 6. Thine throne, O God. Is forever. Is for what? Forever. Forever. And ever. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when John said, Immediately, I was in the spirit. And a throne was set in heaven. And one sat upon the throne. Hallelujah. And he that sat was to look upon as a jasper and a sword and stone. Right. You can't look at that throne the way you look at a chair here on earth. No way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For God is bigger Amen. than his throne. That's right. But his throne has no beginning. No beginning. For his throne, listen, someone say, well, Pastor Jennings, can you prove that his throne don't have no beginning? Sure. Oh, yeah. He is called king of kings. Of kings. Amen. And if God is eternal and a throne symbolizes authority. That's right. Then his throne, his authority have no beginning. That's right. Always was. That's right. Always will be. Amen. So God can appear to any messenger sitting on the throne, and while he's sitting on the throne, still being man. That's right. Amen. That's right. So say he would have to leave the throne. No, he would not. Oh, no. Amen. 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 You don't have. You see, you look at it carnally. It's like when the Holy Ghost overshadowed Mary uh -huh. and said that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called, called the Son of God. Men think God has to come down off the throne. Uh -huh. God is everywhere. That's right. His spirit can overshadow one while his spirit is in another. That's right. Is that Bible? Yes. Uh -huh. On the day of Pentecost. That's right. Wonderful, wonderful. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God didn't fill one little person. They were all filled. How much was filled? They were all filled. How much? All filled. How much? All filled. And you know what makes it so great? Yeah. They were filled at the same time. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Same time. You have to stop looking at Amen. God logically. That's right. Amen. That's right. Wonderful. That's right. He filled the whole earth. Amen. Yeah. Yes, sir. He filled the whole earth. That's right. He can do it at the same time. Look at God. He allowed the earth to quake in one city and yet his hand of peace keep another city calm that's right he bring a tornado rip a town apart a few miles away the people don't even feel much of a breeze that's right that's God multitasking is not difficult for God oh yeah He's a God that multitasks. That's right. Because he know we, the human family, need him in so many ways. And we, he know that we need for him to be so many things. That's Amen. right. And because our problems and difficulty differ from each other, he bears a lot of titles right. so he can be a whole lot of things. Yeah. That's Amen. right. Same time. He's a comforter. That's right. Amen. He's the father. Amen. He's Amen. the healer. Hallelujah. He's a redeemer. Amen. Amen. That's right. He upbraids you. Amen. Amen. He'll wipe your 
your tears away. He has healed one from cancer and healed another from cerebral palsy. To one, I open his deaf ear. To another, I give him sight. To another, I make the name out. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Hey. To another, I make the lame man leap. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Same God. To another, I go to the grave and resurrect you from the dead. Lazarus, come forth. Amen. Go ahead, Tom. Go ahead. So God, God is great. Cannot be narrowed down to one thing. That's right. He's the resurrection. He's the life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He's the head of the church. Amen. He's the savior of the church. Amen. He's the redeemer of humanity. Amen. God is great. Hallelujah. Take Wonderful. Off. Hallelujah. Wonderful. The whole Wonderful. book says. Now in the book of Job chapter 36 and at verse 20. Says, God is great. God is Amen. great. And we know him not. You don't know him. That's right. What do you mean we know him not? We don't know the extent of his capability. That's right. The book of scriptures just give us information here Amen. and there. Amen. He opened up the Red Sea and sent plagues and pestilence down to Egypt. Amen. But God is bigger than that. That's right. Translate in a translate Elijah. Amen. But God is bigger than that. That's and right. Raise Lazarus from the dead. Fill the woman's meal barrel with meal. Yeah. But God is bigger than that. Right. He come put on the body yeah. and the yeah. water with the issue of blood. Grab a whole heart. Jesus said, who touched me? He felt the fashion. Go out. But God is bigger than that. God is great. When heaven and earth pass away, God shall not pass. Hallelujah. God is great. God. Hallelujah. God shall not pass. You cannot look at God logically. You must look at God from the wisdom of God. Look at how broad God is. He says to the apostle, the weakness of God is stronger than man. Well, wait a minute, Lord. You get weak now. Amen. You get weak, Lord? No. But if you want to compare man to me, my weakness is stronger than him. Then the Apostle Paul says, the foolishness of God is wiser than man. Lord, are you foolish? Well, no. certainly not. Amen. I know all things. Amen. That's right. All wise. Wonderful. But if you want to think of foolishness right. and try to compare it to him, to him, the foolishness of God wiser than men. is wiser than men. That's right. So you that's in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh, yeah. he ascended above all heavens. There ain't no Bible that says when he ascended, he went to a third heaven. No. Or a fourth heaven. No. Or, and then that preaching and that teaching did not start in the apostolic churches. Amen. You can go back in history and you'll find it in Catholics. Yeah. You see, I would to God the ministers were here out there in the world. There's a lot of beliefs you had that never came from the scriptures, but it did come from Europe. Yeah. Right. A lot of churches have European persuasion. And because you lack the knowledge of the traditions and customs and man-made doctrines of Europe, you think it's scripture, you think it's revelation, but it's European persuasion. That's right. That Europeans who had the Holy Ghost and could not define God's everlasting word lead to their own understanding, took the scripture and assumed. That's right. Amen. God is higher than heaven. Deeper than hell. Broader than the sea. If Solomon says the house he built can't contain him. Contain him. Hey, listen. God is bigger than this place. Oh, yeah. I used to hear people testify 
They were so grateful for being in the truth, but they got over zealous. They said, I'm glad to be in a church where God live at. God don't live here. No. Oh. That's right. I said, I just got to put too much strategy on the church. That's right. God is everywhere. Amen. If you say God lives here, what's going to happen when the church is resurrected? That's right. yeah. What, God will have to find a new house? Yeah. A new place? Amen. God is bigger than the church. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. God, that's why, that's why God bear the title husband man. Yeah. And the church bear the title wife. It bears the title wife because as the body grows, as a woman body grows as a result of being pregnant, the church grows. The body of Christ grows oh, yeah. because the seed is constantly being discharged with the word of God, impregnating the human family till Christ is formed in them. Wonderful. And as the church begin to swell, the body begin to swell, the bride begin to swell, and at the appointed time, God will come and get his wife. Amen. As it stands now, the, the wife of God, and I want you to get this, you Nick Pickers, the wife of God is constantly getting pregnant. Yeah. That's right. Amen. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's right. and the wife of God. That's right. She's never without a baby. Amen. Constantly. That's why the Bible said God added how? Daily. How? Daily. Daily. What do you mean getting pregnant, Pastor Jennings? In order for one to get pregnant, there got to be a discharge of seed. The Bible said the seed is the word. So therefore, it is our job as the ministers of the Lord Jesus Christ to discharge righteous seed, godly seed into the earth which is preaching the word of God that it may impregnate. Now, this is the only time where a man can get pregnant. That's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the only time. This is the only time and the only way my little children that a grown man That's right. can get pregnant. That's right. We ain't got to take them in no laboratory. No. We ain't got to do some type of operation. No, no. Let's get some Bible, son. In Galatians chapter 4. Yeah. And at verse 19. Uh -huh. my, my little children, of whom I travail in birth again. My little children, of whom I travail in birth again. Until Christ. Until Christ. Be formed. Be formed. In you. In you. That's right. Think of it. But this is the only way and the only time that a man can be pregnant. Not naturally. He ain't sleeping with no man. <laughs> no, no. No, 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 no. And, and ain't nothing being reversed in nature. Oh, no. No. Being pregnant means the word of God is being planted in you. How? Through preaching and teaching, God's word is being planted in you. And as God's word grow in you, you evolve around it. That's right. How much do I evolve around it until I become what's in me? That's right. I become a product of the word of God that is in me. That's right. Amen. So you that say you are the church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the apostolic faith. No, the Bible ain't never said he ascended to the third heaven, but the book of Ephesians speak plain and said what? He that descended. Give chapter and verse again. In the book of Ephesians chapter 4 and at verse 10. He that descended. That descended. Is the same also that same ascended. same also that ascended. Up. Far above all heavens. He went past all heavens. That he might fill all things. Wait. He went past all heavens that he may fill what? That he might fill all things. He's everywhere. everywhere. That's good, isn't it? Excellent. Excellent. All right, Dan the man. Come on, let's get the next letter. Everybody all right? I hope you can give this. <laughs> this person says, hello, Mr. Jennings. Hello. The Truth of God broadcast is the best broadcast in the world. Glory to sweet Jesus it is. <laughs> I have never heard a message more purposeful than the truth of God message. Thank God for that. My question to you is, how supportive are you with your ministers? I am not speaking in a monetary sense. In plain words, do you have their backs? Yes, I do. Oh, yes. I do have the ministers, brothers. I do have their back. As long as their back is in compliance with the word of God. If the ministers are, if the ministers are in compliance with the word of God, I have their back 1,000%. The reason why, and that's why, if things happen in different branch temples and they may talk to me about it, a lot of times I'm quiet listening because I want to make sure that the judgment that was used don't contradict the Bible and how the matter was resolved don't contradict, don't contradict the Bible. Right. And that's why I'm emphatic in encouraging all the ministers, don't use your personal feelings, don't use your personal views, but resolve matters according to biblical principle. Amen. 
you better give me, I believe, the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 11, and begin at verse 7, if you will. Amen. I believe that perhaps is what I want God be our helper. Mm -hmm. I want to certify this as I walk with some Bible. Yes. Listen at this. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 11. Ecclesiasticus, or the book of Sarich, chapter 11. And at verse 7. Begin at verse 7. At verse 7, blame not before thou hast examined the truth. Understand. Wait a minute. Blame not. It says blame not. Before. Before. Thou hast examined. You have truth. examined the truth. That's why I tell all the ministers, don't blame nobody. Don't take sides with nobody before you examine the whole picture. That's right. What did he say? Blame not. Blame not. Before thou hast examined the truth. Before you examine the truth. Understand first. No, judge first. Understand first. Reach a conclusion first. Understand first. Take sides first. Understand first. Understand first. And then rebuke. And then you put things in check. Answer not. Answer not before thou hast heard the cause. That's plain. Answer not. Answer not before thou. Before you heard the cause. Neither interrupt men. Neither interrupt men. In the midst of their talk. Why shouldn't you interrupt men in the midst of their talk? Because if they say something and you interrupt, you may think they mean one thing and they totally meant another. But when you interrupt them, they may need, they may need it to say just five more words that's to right. give you a better understand of the completion of the sentence. Mm -hmm. So that's why I got their back. Oh, yeah. But I have to investigate how things was done to make sure it was done according to the word of God. Because uh, I, I, I can't look at their opinion. And it is wrong for any minister to feel as though I should take their word because they are ministers. No, what I should take first is God's word. That's right. Because God atomized how a thing is done. Well, Pastor Jennings, why would you say it that way? In the book of Susanna, there was a woman whose name was Susanna. And Susanna was, uh, there were two, in modern terms, peeping toms. That's right. That's right. The Bible says two elders of Israel. I often call them two old goats. Uh, Susanna was bathing in her courtyard. And the two elders. And, and listen at this quickly. In the book of Susanna, chapter 1 and at verse 8. So if a minister get offended because I don't take his word first, he got to consider, I'm not just leading you. I'm leading you and them. So I have to hear the conclusion of the whole matter before I reach a, 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 a judgment. That's right. Uh -huh. In the book of Susanna, chapter 1 and at verse 7. All right. Now, when the people departed away at noon, Susanna went into her husband's garden to walk. Yes. And the two elders saw her going in every day uh -huh. and were walking. There was two elders spying on Susanna. That's right. Oh, newsy goats. That's right. Uh -huh. Amen. They should have right. been somewhere in Israel praying. praying. Right. Amen. 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 Trying to do the work of the great Jehovah. That's but right. my God, they saw Susanna out there and they was taken by her beauty. So that their lust. Their what? Their lust. Their lust. Was inflamed toward her. Their lust was inflamed toward her. And, Listen. And they perverted their own mind. They perverted their own mind. Susanna didn't do nothing. No. Susanna did not approach them. Right. They perverted their own mind, meaning they became vain in their imagination. That's right. Uh -huh. And they perverted their own mind. Yes. And turned, oh, and turned away their eyes, uh -huh. that they might not look under heaven. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. They turned. Wait a minute. Amen. They got distracted. Uh, that's right. They turned away their eyes. And they perverted their own mind. They, they, they messed up their own mind. And turned away their eyes. And turned away their eyes. That they might not look under heaven. So they don't pay God no mind. Nor remember just judgment. Don't remember no just judgment. And albeit they both were wounded with her love. Both were wounded. Someone said, well, Pastor Jennings, the Bible said they was wounded with her love. Mm -hmm. Don't. Don't that mean she done something? No. That simply means that affection for her formed in them without her aid. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You can fall in love with a person, a person don't, know, don't even know you. Amen. That's, right. That's right. Like a stalker. Yeah. That's right. Stalker don't know you. That's right. Stalker don't even know you exist. Amen. You in love with him or you in love with her. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I'll be. So I, I, I want to say this because a lot of kernel minded people think because a person have to do something to cause it. 
That's right. not true. No. You said to everything there's a cause. That's a lie. That's a lie. Because the Bible says they hate you without a cause. That's right. Which shows that you can have some form of feeling or emotion. That's it. And a person did not do one thing or That's said right. anything to ignite it or bring it about. That's right. That's right. Uh -huh. All right. And albeit they both were wounded with her love. Yes. Yet durst not show one another his grief. Now they were so lustful, uh, they wouldn't even share with each other. That's right. Uh -huh. For they were ashamed to declare their lust. They were ashamed to declare their lust. That they desired to have to do with her. Uh -huh. Yet they watched her diligently from day to day to, to see her. Peeping Toms. Yeah. Newsy. Newsy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the elders of Israel. That's right. And they watched her day to day. Yet they watched diligently from day to day to see her. Uh, and the one said to the other, What? Let us now go home, for it is dinner time. Now, <laughs> Amen. The one said to the other, Look, yeah. hey, come on, let's, let's go home. We'll, we'll get some grub. grub. Dinner time. Now, bear in mind, that's, that was not the real motive. No. See, the one that said to the other, Let's go home, it's dinner time. He was hoping that when he said it to the other, he'll leave. Yep. That's right. Yep. That way he could have and enjoy Susanna for himself. Yep. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. But uh, I, I have to say, like Jacob, when he was about to die, he called his sons together. He said, Simeon and Levi are brethren. Brother. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. That's right. What do you mean? Simeon and Levi have the same spirit. Yeah. These two elders had the same spirit. Mm -hmm. So when one said to the other, go, you know, let's go home and eat. Eat. The one that said it was hoping that he would leave. That's right. That way he'll stay there. Mm -hmm. But the other was hoping that the other would leave Amen. so he can stay there. That's right. Uh -huh. so, so when they were gone out, when they was gone out, they parted the one from the other. And turning back again, they came to the same place. <laughs> okay. They left. Amen. Amen. But they came on back to the same place. The same place. We'll let you know they, had, they was thinking on the same thing. That's right. All right. And after that, they had asked one another the cause. They asked one another, well, wait a minute. I thought you supposed to went home. What do you come back here for? You're supposed to work Nate. Amen. Uh -huh. They acknowledged their lust. They, they both had to admit, yeah, man. You want to? Yeah. You want to? Yeah. That's right. Uh -huh. Then appointed they a time both together. Now, they decided to team up. They appointed a time together. When they might find her alone. When they may find her alone. And it fell out as they watched a fit time. She went in before with two maids only. Yes. And she was desirous to wash herself in the garden for it was hot. Yes. And there was nobody there save the two elders that had hid themselves and watched her. The two elders like peeping times. That's right. Peeping to hiding. Hiding. <laughs> Looking at it. There's nothing wrong with the church may have security cameras on the outside of the building. But you don't put no security cameras in no men's room. No. No. Ladies' room. No, no, no. Or where men is changing. That's right. And ladies are changing. That's right. What are you trying to secure? Uh, Am I right? Amen. Amen. Eh? Amen. Bible said that all things be done decently and in order. All right. And there was nobody there save the two elders yes. that had hid themselves and watched her. Uh -huh. Then she said to her maids, bring me oil and washing uh -oh. bowls. She said to her maids, bring me oils and what else? And washing bowls. And washing bowls. And shut the garden doors that, shut I, the garden door. that I may wash me. I, I, I want to do some bathing. And, and they did as she bathed them uh -huh. and shut the garden doors and went out themselves at private doors yes. to fetch the things that she had commanded them. Mm -hmm. But they saw not the elders because they were hid. They didn't see the two peeping toms. That's right. Uh -huh. Now when the maids were gone forth, the two elders rose up. I want you to listen closely because this is so beautiful. Yeah. When what? Now when the maids were gone forth. When the maids was gone. The, the two elders rose up and ran under her. They ran. They come out of their hiding place. That's yep. right. And ran unto Susanna. Saying, Behold, the garden doors are shut. The garden doors are shut, that, Susanna. That no man can see us. Ain't nobody can see us. And we are in love with thee. <laughs> Amen. That's what the book says. We, we are in love with thee. That alone proved you don't have to do nothing. That's right, that's right. That's right, sir. Susanna didn't know she was being spied on. No. 
The elders was overwhelmed by this woman's beauty. That's right. And looking at her babe didn't help none. Right. No. It just made them more excited. Amen. Mm -hmm. Behold, the garden doors are shut that no man can see us. Yes. And we are in love with thee. We're in love with you. Therefore, consent unto us and lie with us. Notice, one of, the, one of them didn't say lie with me. No. Consent unto us. Consent unto us. And lie with us. Lie with us. 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 Now these fellows were obsessive. When a man is obsessive with a woman, or a woman is obsessive with a man, if the man refused to cooperate, if the woman refused to cooperate, and the man or the woman cannot accept rejection, right. the next thing to do is destroy you as a man and woman, yes. even if I got to lie. Right. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. That's right. Come on, son. Therefore, consent unto us and lie with us. Uh -huh. If thou wilt not, we will bear witness against thee. That a young Hold man, it. if you don't lie with us, we will bear witness against them. What kind of witness? We will bear false witness against you that, that, that we saw something that we know didn't happen. That's right. What were they willing to say? That a young man was with thee. Now remember, these were elders. Elders. Two oh, elders. Yeah. These were elders. Elders. They was willing to say, if you don't look, if you don't come on our way. We will say. We will bear witness against thee. We will bear witness against. This is why the Bible talks about, about not bearing false witness. That's right. Let me say this, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, friends, and my wonderful enemies. If you know you did not see, shut your mouth. All right. Amen. 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 That's right. Bearing false witness. If you know you didn't see what happened, how can you jump on board with an indictment that others have? That's right. right. Amen. Amen. We speak that which we do know. That's right. And we testify to what we see. But make sure what you see is what you're looking at. That's right. What do you mean, Pastor Jennings? You can see a married man standing talking to a woman that's not his wife. Right. You can see that. But that don't mean you looking at an act of flirtation. Right. That don't mean you looking at someone exchanging numbers. That's right. That don't mean you looking at somebody trying to hook up. That's right. The woman can be his cousin. Amen. The woman can be his sister that you never met. Let me make an example. That's right. I come from a very affectionate family. You know, my sister and brother, we hug each other. Yes. So I remember when my sister Cookie, you know, folks didn't know who she was. Yeah. And Cookie came in the church. You know, she ain't calling me Pastor Dennis. Church was jammed, packed, was in the convention. She said, Gino, come here, baby. <laughs> 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 And anyone that know my sister know Cookie got a high-pitched voice, you know. And Cookie said, Gino, come here, baby. And she came to me, arms open, and I came to her. She threw her arms around me and rocked me back and forth. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and there were some sisters, hmm, who's that? <laughs> who's that? Is, is that Shanaynay? <laughs> now do you understand? Amen. Amen. Speak what you know. Because you can spread a lie to try to destroy the credibility of the innocent. That's right. Excellent, Pop. Beautiful. There are men and women that cannot accept rejection. Right. And as a result of you rejecting them, they lie on you. That's right. Is that Bible? Oh, yes. There was a man named Joseph, man. the son of Jacob. Man. He became master and ruler in his master house. Yeah. The master went on a journey. 
and the wife was infatuated about Joseph and she kept pursuing Joseph every time until Joseph, she caught Joseph by the garment, he ran out of his garment. So because she could not accept rejection, she would use his garment as a way to blackmail Joseph. That's right. So when her husband come back, she tell her husband. So you gotta remember, Joseph's master was not a Hebrew, and the master's wife was not a Hebrew. So to make matters worse, she figured she would throw his nationality in the face of her husband. She brought the garment and said, you brought a Hebrew in to mock us. So the husband, besides investigating, he took his wife's word. Not thinking of the possibility that his wife can be a liar. So, as a result, Joseph got thrown in jail. Yeah. But the Lord yeah. was with Joseph. Yeah. That's it. You you see, when people do you wrong, God will stand up yeah. for you. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Wonderful. That's it. Wonderful. God. Beautiful. The same man that threw Joseph in jail. Yes, sir. The Lord. Gave a dream. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they wasn't able to interpret the dream. Wonderful. They needed Joseph, the same one they falsely accused. He, God was with him. Joseph, come on and let them know. Seven years are plentiful. Seven years of famine. You may have the dream, but you need someone to interpret. So the same one that they rejected, they end up needing him. Right. And Joseph ended up becoming a mighty governor down in Egypt. Amen. Bible said he'll make your enemies your footstool. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. Go back to the book of Susanna. This is good. I want you to get this. Come on, Williams. Get chapter and verse. Still in Susanna chapter 1, we're at verse 19. Mm -hmm. Therefore consent unto us and lie with us. If thou wilt not, we will bear witness against thee that a young man was with thee. And therefore thou didst send away thy maids from thee. Yes. Then Susanna sighed. Hold it. Susanna sighed. Sighed. <sighs> uh -huh. And said, I am straightened on every side. For if I do. You, 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 you got me blocked. Blocked. On every side. If I. For if I do this thing. If I do this. It, it is death unto me. You know what Israel will do to me? That's right. It is death unto me. You kill my character. You kill my name. And if, and, I, and if I do it not. And if I don't do it. I cannot escape your hands. I cannot escape your hand. You're trying to bribe me. So I'm in the middle. It is. Now hold it. I want to show you what's the best thing to do. Wonderful, sir. Take your time, Father. When people try to toss you into the middle of their madness. It is better for me. It is better for me to fall into your hands. To fall in your hands. And not do it. And not do it. Yes. Than to sin. I'd rather die. That's right. Yes. 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 Not do it. That's it. Then to fall in your hands and not do it. Than to sin. Than to sin. In the sight of the Lord. In the, you see putting God first? Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. And with that, Susanna cried with a loud voice. And, and the two elders cried out against her. They cried out against her. Then ran the one and opened the garden door. So he, he, look, he ran on out because he didn't hear what he wanted to hear. That's right. They thought they can intimidate her. They thought they can intimidate her, bribe her, bribe her coerce her. And because she refused to cooperate, blackmail her, lie on her, and take the lies to others so they all can join in and feel the same way without knowing the truth of the matter. That's right. That's it. I'm still working on why I don't jump the gun to take the word of ministers. That's right. I must investigate first. That's right. Listen. 
So when the servants of the house heard the cry in the garden, what happened? they rushed in at a private door to see what was done under her. Yes. But when the elders had declared their matter. When the elders declared their matter, what you mean? They told the others that came in, we saw her with a young man. That's right. Go liar. Right. They declared their matter. Their matter. Not that they declared the truth. No. And the servants were greatly ashamed. Now, they took the elders' word. And they were ashamed because their fellows don't hate the elders telling the truth. Yeah. Uh -huh. For there was never such a report made of Susanna. Do you hear that? Because there never was a report made of such of Susanna. And it came to pass the next day. What happened? When the people were assembled to her husband Joachim. Yes. The, the two elders came also full of mischievous imagination against Susanna. They came full. Of Have you noticed how consistent they were? Yeah. That's right. Full of imagination towards Susanna. They get Susanna to put her to death. Listen, they were so determined to get what they want, and if they ain't going to get it, okay, let's have a kill then. That's right. Is, not, not, is that not the nature of people today? That's right. That's right. If you refuse to believe their foolishness, That's right. they will try to have you destroy, murder, kill. That's right. Old folks say misery, love company. Yeah. They say you got a decent marriage and maybe theirs didn't work out, they try to destroy yours. Yeah. That's right. They say you got a decent job, theirs didn't work out, they want to destroy yours. Amen. They see the ministry that God gave you highs flourishing all around the world and they didn't get no further than a hole in the log. Right. <laughs> Amen. And they want everybody to believe that they're right and you're wrong. Yes. God will make your enemies yeah. your footstool. That's right. Listen! The two elders came also full of mischievous imagination mm -hmm. against Susanna to put her to death and said before the people, Send for Susanna, the daughter of Chalkiah. Wait a minute. They said this before who? And said before the people. These, these mm. elders were so persistent, they was willing to do it open. Openly. See, today they scandalize you by tweet, oh, yeah. text, oh, yeah. and all this other stuff. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Because even the devil knows. You can say something about anybody. Somebody going to believe it. Somebody's going to believe it. And you can get a bunch of other people on board. Yeah! We saw him. Yeah, we saw her. Yeah, I saw them over there. Yeah, I saw them in Hawaii. And they ain't never been to Hawaii. <laughs> Amen. Because the colonel mind, if they feel negative towards you, they will automatically start believing what a negative person think of you. That's right. Mm -hmm. And said before the people, what? Send for Susanna, the daughter of Chalcias, yes. Joachim's wife, and so they sent. Yes. So she came with her father and mother and children and all her kindred. Uh -huh. Now Susanna was a very delicate woman. She, she was a very, very delicate woman. Delicate woman. And beauteous. Wasn't loud, wasn't boisterous. Delicate. As we say in the street, wasn't ghetto. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> wasn't a thought. That's right. Make them understand. Make them understand. Was in ratchet. Go ahead. The Bible speaks plain. Now Susanna was a very delicate she woman. She was a very delicate woman. And beauteous to behold. She was beautiful. That's right. Uh -huh. And these wicked men commanded to uncover. Now her remember, face. they were elders, but what did the word of God call them? Wicked men. They was wicked men. Co commanded to uncover her face. They wanted to uncover the face. For she was covered that they might be filled with her beauty. Yes. Therefore her friends. Her friends. And all that saw her wept. Her friends and all that saw her wept. Then the two elders stood up in the midst of the people. And the two elders stood up in the midst of the people. And the people that they stood up in the midst of was Israel, the church. Church. Yeah. Uh -huh. And laid their hands upon her head. They laid, look at them. Laid their hands upon her head like they got so much anointing in us hard there. That's right. Uh -huh. And she weeping, looking, looking up toward heaven. Wait a minute. She weeping. She weeping. Looked up toward heaven. She looking at heaven. For her heart. For her heart. Trusted in the Lord. Glory to God. Wonderful. 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 Trust in the Lord. When you get God involved, then things 
things fall in the direction that God himself wanted to fall. That's right. Wonderful. Listen. Wonderful. And the elder said. The elder said. As we walked into the garden alone. All right. Hold it right there. The elders concoct a story. That's right. The one thing about the devil, the devil have a way of putting together a story that seems so real. Oh yeah. And what the elders was about to say never happened. That's right. Listen. And and the elders said. The elders said. As we walked in, in the garden we alone. We walked in the garden by ourselves. This woman we, came we, we're in with tell, We're not going to tell the church that we were sneaking around peeping while she was bathing. No, oh no. We walked in the garden by ourselves. This woman came in with two maids. This woman came in with two maids. And shut the garden doors and sent the maids away. Uh, then a young man who there was hid came under her and lie, lay Lie, her. lie, lie. That's right. There was no young man ever in the picture. No. It was just them two old goats. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> them two old heathens were the only one. That's right. All right. Then we that stood in a corner of the garden. We that stood in the corner of the garden. Seeing this wickedness. We seen this wickedness. Ran unto them. We ran to them. And we saw them together. The man we could not hold. For he was stronger than we. And opened the door. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> they had it fixed up, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We couldn't hold a man. He was stronger than us. Stronger. And Good old. That's right. So what happened? And opened the door and leaped out. He leaped out. But having taken this woman, we asked who the young man was. We asked who was the young man. But she could not tell us these things do we testify. Mm. Mm. Now, Jesus come along later and taught us not to bear false witness. False witness. False witness. False witness. False witness. All right. Then the assembly believed them. The church believed believe them. 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 Amen. You know, there's some people who claim they're with you. Let something like that happen. That's, That's right. true. That's it. Excellent, Pops. That's right. Beautiful. They jump on a bandwagon and indict you. Get all in the spirit. I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. That's it, Pops. That's right. Beautiful, beautiful. Why? They want it to happen. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's it, sir. Listen. Then the assembly believed them. The church believed them. As those that were the elders and judges of the people. Because they were elders and judges of the people. So they condemned her to death. The church. This is why I say I have to hear the whole picture. Do I have the ministers back? Yes, but I must hear the whole picture. I just can't jump up and take their word because they were a minister, because I'm leading minister and member. That's right. That's right. And I cannot be partial in my judgment and partial in my decision. That's right. I must use scripture to rationalize and to balance both. That's right. And then let truth come up to the surface. No minister got the right to say, oh, well, I feel as though you should take my word because I'm a minister. Not no. according to this. No. no. Listen. Then the assembly believed them. The assembly believed them. As those that were the elders and judges of the people. Yes. So they condemned her to death. Wait a minute. Because of a lie, the entire church them. took the word. An innocent woman was about to get killed. That's right. But let us remember. She was still looking to the Lord That's during wonderful. the entire ordeal. Right. Do you get what I'm telling you? Okay. All right. Then Susanna cried out with a loud voice and said, Oh, everlasting God. Hallelujah. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, everlasting God. That knowest the secrets. That know the secrets. Secrets and knoweth all things and know all things before they be. You know the thing before it happens. Thou knowest, thou knowest that they have borne false witness against they me. They bared false witness against me. And behold, I must die. And behold, I'm about to die. 
Whereas I never did such things. I never did such things. As these men have maliciously invented against me. If you are guilty, God will not defend you. That's right. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Regardless of how ugly it sounds. Hallelujah. If you are guilty, God will not defend you. That's right. Hallelujah. But if you're innocent, Amen. you can fall on your face Amen. before God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the great Jehovah, the great Yahweh, Hallelujah. will step in Hallelujah. and work in your favor. Yes, you will. Yes. Thou knowest. Glory to God. Amen. I've thought about Brother Samson. They made mockery of him. Cut his hair. Believe his eyes were blinded. Lord, just this one time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. It's written, sir. Yes. Hallelujah. This one time, Hallelujah. told the individual, lead me to the pillars. That's right. Wonderful. Let this temple stand. That's right. They let him. Just lead me to the temples. Yeah. Who was in the temple? My accusers. That's right. Amen. They mocked me. Hallelujah. Cut my hair. Yes. Deprive me of my strength. Yes. But Lord, yes. take me back where I was. Amen. Go and take Wonderful. it. Samson, yes. get between the pillars yes. and start talking to God. Amen. All of a sudden, there's a cracking. Amen. Undoubtedly, when he's pushing, they're mocking him. Yeah. He don't know what he's doing. Yeah. He, think he's, he think he can tear this temple down. He's God left him. They had no idea that God was a redeemer. That's right. Amen. And God was a forgiver. Amen. Wonderful. That's it, Pop. Let the weak yeah. say I'm so. Hallelujah! Yes, sir. Hallelujah. That's it. Send some of those weak. Yes, yeah! Yes, Amen. Amen. Got between the pillars. That's it. And talk to heaven. Amen. And when he started pushing, that's it. God stepped in. That's right. Amen. When that temple began to yes, crack sir. and stones begin to fall, Amen. the word says, send some killed more. Oh. At his end, Amen. at his death, That's right. then his whole life. God gave Samson more victory at the end than his whole life. If you want victory, let God do it. If you want to overcome, let God do it. Hallelujah! Wonderful. If you want to get over, let God do it. That's right. That's it. Stop Amen. trying to do it on your own. Amen. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Beautiful. He said, let the weak say I'm strong. That's it. Let God arise. God arise. Wonderful, sir. That's it. Be the name of Hallelujah! Go ahead, take God. That's right. Beautiful, sir. Beautiful. I remember That's, uh, wonderful. when there were some so-called brothers in First Church. And they tried to destroy the church. And one put out a false prophecy and said, there is no more First Church. He said, Dan is going to follow him. He said, Williams is coming in with him. My Lord. He said, Deep, 
is coming in with him. He got women to send letters to the churches. He said the Holy Ghost let him know there is no first church. He lied because he blasphemed. Amen. I wouldn't say nothing and didn't do nothing. Because I just wanted to get between the pillars. Oh, wonderful. That's all. That's all. Wonderful. 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 Brothers would ask me, what you gonna do? I said, nothing. I'm gonna talk to God. They said first church is dead. But God says the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. And now the same ones that try to destroy the church have no work, hardly no people, no following, blaspheme the Bible. And since those years went by, the truth of God just swelled. 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 If you try to do this on your own, it won't work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let your enemies talk. That's right. Amen. Let your enemies make it sound good. Yes. Wonderful. You do like Susanna. Then right. Susanna cried Look out. Look out. With a loud oh, voice. Wonderful. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Ask him to say, Look out. For your redemption, draw out. Hallelujah. That's all. Amen. Pastor Jennings, don't you care Amen. how false prophets try to make you look? No. Oh. It fulfills the book. That's right. Words of them whom the world speak well of. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know how good it feels not to think but to know no. that no. God no. is with you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Hallelujah. And now. Everywhere the message go in the world, Everywhere. thousands are going down in water. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, That's Amen. Right. men are coming to stand firm Amen. with God everlasting word. Right. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Wonderful. The two elders thought they can get Susanna to buckle. But what the two elders failed to think of, they didn't give a thought of Susanna's faith. That's right. Her faith and her steadfastness in God. That's Amen. right. Are you getting this church? Amen. Listen at this quickly. Then Susanna cried out with a loud voice and said, Oh, everlasting oh, God. Oh, everlasting God. That knows the secret. You see what prayer can do. Oh, everlasting God who knoweth the secrets. And knoweth all things. And know everything. Before they be. Before they even happen. Thou knowest that they have borne false witness against me. Yeah. And behold, I must die. Uh -huh. Whereas I never did such things as these men have I been, never did such things that these men have claimed. maliciously invented against me. Be quick. And the Lord heard a voice. Mm. Mm. I told you what to happen. That's right. right. That's right. Don't you hear the Bible describe God? It says you have an advocate. Right. With the Father? Right. What do you mean an advocate? Like a lawyer. Yeah. In other words, the Lord is your defender. That's right. When your enemies try to destroy you, you got to advocate with the Father. You got a defender, one who will fight for you. That's right. The thing is, you don't know how, and you don't know when, and you don't know where, and you don't know who God's going to use to be an advocate in your behalf. That's right. God is so good. Beautiful, sir. Beautiful. Hallelujah. Beautiful. I tell you, God is wonderful. so good. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Come on, William. And the Lord heard her voice. The Lord heard her voice. Therefore, when she was led to be put to death, when right when she was led to be killed, the Lord raised up the Holy Spirit of a young youth whose name was Daniel. Hallelujah. Right at the time she's about to be led to yeah. be death, 
the Lord. Daniel was a young man at this time. That's right. And the Spirit of God came upon Daniel. That's yeah. right. And raised Daniel up. Who cried with a loud voice. And Daniel cried with a loud voice. I am clear from the blood of this woman. I'm not going to do what you other church members do. That's I'm right. free. That's right. I will not participate yeah. in your indictment and in your accusation. I'm free. That's I'm right. free from the blood of this woman. Mm -hmm. I will not let the accusation in her death be on my hands. That's right. Amen. That's what he meant when he said, I'm free. Clear. Amen. And then all the people, Daniel let you know, something don't sound right. True. It don't sound right. That's right. What raised Daniel up? Therefore, when he was led to, therefore, when she was led to be put to death, when she was led to be put to death, the Lord raised up. The Lord raised up. The Holy Spirit of a young youth. They raised up the whole. That so, means God stared up the spirit in Daniel. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Whose name was Daniel? Yes. Who cried with a loud voice? Yes. I am clear from the blood of this woman. Mm -hmm. Then all the people turned them toward him and said, What mean these words that thou hast spoken? Who do you think you are, young man? That's right. Amen. Yes. So he standing in the midst of them said, Are ye such fools, ye sons of Israel? Wait a minute. That's right. Are you such fools, you Israelites, that without examination? Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 Inspiration talking. Amen. Amen. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Without, without examination. Examination. Or the church go ahead. responded without examination. Finding out the truth. Wonderful. That's right. That's the way the other 72 did Jesus. Yeah. He said, eat my body and drink my blood. The man, they took off and ran. That's right. Didn't even wait to get an understanding to understand what the Messiah was talking about. That's right. And he asked Peter, will thou also go? Peter, I told where, where am I going? <laughs> you have the word of eternal life. That's right. Glory to God. Are ye such fools, ye, ye sons such of Israel? Fools, ye sons of Israel. That without examination. Without examination. Or knowledge of the truth. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wait a minute. <laughs> Amen. Right. It was so good, I was trying to solve it quick so I could respond to it. Without examination and... Or knowledge of the truth. Get knowledge first. Yes. Yes. You don't take sides with someone because they're your friend. That's yeah. right. What kind of dumb reason is that? Yeah. You mean to tell me you will lie on somebody because your friend said something? Yeah. That goes to show you you're weak and you're incompetent as a follower of God. That's Amen. right. Amen. That's right. Listen. That without examination. Without examination. Or knowledge of the truth. Or knowledge of the matter. You have condemned a daughter of Israel. You condemn the daughter of the church. Return again to the place of judgment. Let's go back to the place where judgment was given. For they have borne false witness against her. Ah, uh, the Holy Ghost in Daniel was able to see. They burned, they borne false witness against this woman. Something ain't right here. That's Amen. right. Notice, for them to know it wasn't right, the Holy Ghost dealt with Daniel. That's right. Amen. Otherwise, in that, everything else dealt with carnality and looked at it from a personal perspective, but the Holy Ghost dealt with Daniel. That's right. This was God's way of answering the prayer of Susanna. That's right. He answered it by dealing with the man. That's right. Amen. Doesn't matter how you get your answer. Go ahead, man. Long as you get your answer from God. That's right. Over to God. What did he say? Wherefore all the people turned again in haste. All the people turned again in haste. And the elder said unto him, What? Come, Come. Sit, sit down among us. Come on and sit among us, young I, man. And show it us. Show us. Seeing God hath given thee the honor of an elder. See, the elders didn't believe that God was dealing with him. Right. Come on and show us, seeing that God gave you the honor of an elder. In other words, God deal with us, young man. <laughs> That's right. You think you so deep. Uh, That's right. Come on, show That's us what our God done to you so much. That's right. Never underestimate the Lord. Amen. Never. Amen. When you underestimate the Lord's ability, if you can use a dumbass to open the eyes of the prophet Balaam, don't be a fool to underestimate his divine everlasting skill. That's right. God can do what he want, with he want, with whom he want, but he would never transgress the scriptures to get his will done. That's right. Even the will of Jehovah is confined 
to the scriptures. To the scriptures. And the scripture says about him is impossible for God to lie. That's right. Amen. Come on, Simon. Then said Daniel unto them. Then said Daniel to them. Put these two aside, one far from another. Look at the wisdom of God. During this whole time, the spirit was on Daniel. That's right. Daniel was not doing nothing on his own. No. That's why the Holy Ghost was staring in him, and then the Holy Ghost began to guide him God. and cause him to do these things. What did he say? Then said Daniel unto them. Then said Daniel unto them. Put these two aside, okay. one far from Don't another. Don't you hear the Bible say the holy men of God speaking to us moved by the Holy Ghost? That's right. I want these two men aside where? Far from another. I want them far from one another. That way when I examine them, I see what come out of both of them. That's right. Why, Daniel? Because you know if they both claim they've seen something, then their story shouldn't change. Right. Right. That's right. <laughs> then said right. Daniel unto them. Then said Daniel to them. Put these two aside, one far from another. Yeah. And I will examine them. I will examine. Them. So when they were put asunder one from another, yes. he 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 called one of them. He 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 called one of them. He called one of them. He called one, not three of them, right? One. 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 All right. One. And said unto him, O All right, listen. O thou that oh, art the scripture, you gotta advocate with the father. Now. Yeah. Daniel was acting as a defense lawyer right. because the Lord was defending this woman. Daniel wasn't doing it on his own. No. She had an advocate with the father, and the father was standing up in Daniel. That's right. <laughs> That's, right. <laughs> huh? That's right. The father, which is God, was standing up in Daniel, and the wisdom of God knew what to ask him. That's right. Listen. And said unto him, Oh. Daniel began to examine the first one and said unto him, O thou that art waxing old wait, in... Wait, 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 wait. Amen. Listen to what Daniel said to the man. O thou that art waxing old... Hey, old man. ...in wickedness. You old wicked thing, you. Now thy sins which thou hast committed a four time... Now the sins that you committed a four time... ...are come to light. Now, wait a minute. Daniel wasn't around, so how can he know this unless That's God right. deal with him? That's, That's right. Do you see what I'm talking about? That's right. This goes back to the prayer that Susanna prayed. Yeah, right. Lord, you know the secret. You know what's the secret? The secret. The secret of the heart. So now God, through Daniel, is exposing the secret of the elders. That's right. Oh, I wish I could have, I wish I could have saw the look on the elders' face. Oh, yeah. Listen. O thou thou art waxing old in wickedness. You're waxing old in wickedness. Now thy sins which thou hast committed aforetime are come to light. Yes. For thou hast pronounced false judgment. You have pronounced false judgment. And has condemned the innocent. And you condemned the innocent. And has let the guilty go free. You let the guilty go free. Albeit the Lord said. Somebody said, wait a minute, Pastor Jenner, who was the guilty that went free? Them. Them. The two old elders. That's right. Uh-huh. How be it the Lord said. How be it. The, the Lord, Lord said, said, The innocent and righteous shalt thou not slay. Mm. Mm. That stands good today. Amen. Good today. Amen. That's, that's God's way of saying, if I were to use modern terms, the Lord got your back, church. That's, that's right. right. The Lord got your back. Amen. Amen. That's right. The innocent and righteous and them that's right shalt thou not slay. You will not be able to destroy. That's right. Yeah. Now then. Now then. If thou hast seen her. If you seen her, tell me under what tree thou sawest them company to, together. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. If what you say is so true, and you say you saw Susanna with this young man, just tell me. What tree what sawest tree thou them? Did you see? Company together. That they was together. What tree was they uh, smooching under? That's right. I mean, that's right. What tree? What tree? What tree was they acting up under? Under. Uh huh. Who answered under a mastic tree? Oh. Well, Daniel, there was on the mastic tree. And Daniel said, very well. What? Very, all right, whatever you say. Thou hast lied against thine own head. Amen. God's still dealing with him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because God knew it wasn't even a tree involved. That's right. That's right. I want you to look at that closely, how the Lord reprimanded the elder mm -hmm. as the spirit was on Daniel. And Daniel said, very well. Now, this also, what you're going to get out of this, what they intend to do to Susanna, God end up allowing the same thing happen to them. That's right. We say it this way. What goes around Amen. Comes, around. comes around. The scripture says this. You reap what you sow. What you sow. Are you getting this check? Amen. Viewers, I want you to listen. And Daniel said very well. 
Very well. Thou hast lied against thine own head. You lied against your own head. For even now, even now, the angel of God has received the sentence of God to mm. cut thee in two. Mm. Even the now. angel of God right now. For even now, the angel of God has received. The angel of God has received. The sentence of God. The sentence. God has passed an indictment upon you. To cut thee in two. To cut you in two. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Do you hear this, church? Amen. Uh, even what else? So he put him aside. So he put him aside. And commanded to bring the other. All right, let's get the other. And said unto him, O thou seed of Canaan. Now remember this was said, they saw Susanna and the young man under a mystic tree. Mystic tree. Remember that, don't forget that. Mm -hmm. They saw Susanna. Under a mastic tree. And a young man under a mastic tree. Mastic tree. A mastic tree. Yeah. All right. So he put him aside. Put him aside. And commanded to bring the other. Let's get the other one in here. And said unto him, O thou seed of Canaan. And wait, not wait, of wait, Judah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Amen. What did he call him? O thou seed of Canaan. O thou seed of Canaan. And not of Judah. And not of Judah. Beauty hath deceived thee. Beauty hath tricked you. And lust hath perverted thine heart. And lust is what twists you and messed you up. Thus have ye dealt with the daughters of Israel. You do you know who you was dealing with? And they fulfilled. You was dealing with one of God's people that you lied on, and now you was willing to have them killed, killed. because you couldn't have your way. That's right. Mm -hmm. And they for fear companied with you, but the daughter of Judah would not abide your wickedness. Yes. Now therefore tell me, under what tree didst thou take them a company together? First one said a mastic tree. Mastic tree. Now he got the second one. Mm -hmm. Same question. Under what tree? Under what tree? Didst thou take them company together? Did you find Susanna and the young man? You know, under what tree was they together? Who answered under a alm tree? Mm. <laughs> First one said mastic tree. The next one said an arm tree. The arm tree. Uh, and, and neither one saw her under any tree. That's right. That's right. Mm. Get, get one brother. Oh, well, she approached me. Get the other brother. Well, I saw she, she came to him in a car. <laughs> right. The other brother. Well, yeah, I saw when she shook his hand and rubbed his face. Yeah. Right. Why? Because she reject all three of them. That's right. You should never come together to form a conspiracy yeah, right. because you're too weak and too spiritually frail and lack maturity that you cannot accept rejection. That's right. Rejection is a part of life. The only one you don't want to reject you is your Lord. That's right. Rejection may hurt, but God can heal. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. You should never be so bent on destroying a man or woman that you will be vindictive because he or she don't want to be with you. So you will lie and start tweeting and texting and emailing and, uh, and all this other all stuff this. all over social media and ignorant church people just all over the air right. talking a bunch of trash. And let me say to all viewers of the truth of God, Go ahead, brother. do not participate in social media gossip garbage. Amen. 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 The truth of God used the social media for one thing. Yeah. Preach the gospel. Preach the gospel. Yeah. We don't care what preachers say about us. Yeah. Don't argue with them. Yeah. If they are obsessed with First Church or Pastor Jennings, let them manifest their obsession and their ignorance. That's right. Don't argue with them. What preachers do to get attention because they really may not have no viewing audience. That's it. That's it. So they get over the air and they know if they say First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ or say Pastor Jennings, people are going to go to their website. That's what is he saying about him? 
What is he saying about the church? Because they don't have no viewing audience. Right. right. So they use our name Leverage. Leverage. just to get attention. That's right. Notice, we don't have to use nobody's name, wow. but the name of the Lord awesome. Jesus. That's shows their incompetency and their weakness not only as a preacher but as a man Amen. do not argue with none of these fellas don't even respond to them pray that God will fill the pulpit sinners with the Holy Ghost that's right don't argue with them you will have men all around the world first church first church even the Hebrew Israelites did a live YouTube meeting about First Church and Pastor Jennings. They did a whole live one. They've been about two hours long or more. Oh, God. I said, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Do not argue. Do not give it on, get on social media and go back and forth. Right. They can call me liar, false prophet. Let them call me whatever they want. Right. The work of the Lord is being done. Right. Souls are being saved. Yeah. When the one do all that talking, those that do all that talking, one thing is simple. Show us your work. Am I right, I said? Just show us your work. That's right. Jesus said you know them by the fruit. Didn't he say so? That's right. Look at all these fruits in here. That's right. There's so many fruits upstairs. Fruits all in India. Fruits in the Bahamas. Fruits in Barbados. Throughout Jamaica. Throughout Trinidad. Throughout Europe. Fruits over there in, uh, in India. Fruits in Zimbabwe. Fruits in Malawi. Fruits in Zambia. Fruits in Nigeria. Fruits in the Congo. Hallelujah. Yeah. Fruits in Kenya. Fruits in New Zealand. Amen. Fruits in Australia, Amen. fruits in Malaysia, yes, fruits in the Netherlands, yes, fruits in Great Britain, Amen. fruits in Hawaii. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Wonderful. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Mountain of the Lord Christ. Wonderful. Wonderful. Beautiful. Beautiful. Got a whole orchard over orchard. here. Yes, a whole orchard. Yeah. That's right. Blessed be the name of Wonderful. God. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's why I don't pay these men no mind. Just show me your work. That's right. You don't have no work, and you're not doing nothing. Doing nothing. Uh, I just don't have the time to give you attention. There's some men I forget they're even born on the earth. Amen. Until somebody may have to mention their name. Amen. And sometime I laugh. I had a man call me about three weeks ago and said, there's a preacher saying this, that, and the other. I said, I'm not interested. Amen. He said, you mean to tell me not interested in what they're saying about you? I said, no. In fact, I said to that man, I don't know who he was. I said, just show me their work. Yeah. That's all. Amen. Yeah, God Almighty speaks for the truth of God. That's right. Just like God is speaking and fighting for Susanna here. That's right. Listen quick. Give chapter and verse. Read fast. Still in the book of Susanna, chapter 1 and verse 58. Uh, give Dan, uh, not Dan, give William some more juice. Turn him up a little bit. All right, come on. Now therefore tell me, under what tree didst thou take them company together? Yes. Who answered under a holm tree? All right, now the, uh, the first one said mastic, mastic tree. tree. The second liar said arm, arm tree. Arm tree. All right, read quick. Then said Daniel unto him, 
Well, thou hast also lied against thine own head. You also lie against your own head. For the angel of God waiteth with the sword to cut thee in two, that he may destroy you. Uh -huh. With that all the assembly cried out with a loud voice, and praised God. Wait a minute. The assembly. The assembly cried the church out. Church cried out with a loud voice. And praised God. You know why? Because the church. I want you to hear this. The church in the Old Testament was about to violate the law that God gave Moses. That's right. God said, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not bear false witness. And the church got caught up in their emotion and was about to transgress God's law because they were responding to men based upon emotion. Right. And when they saw the error, and the only way they saw the error, God used Daniel. Daniel. That's right. And by the God using Daniel, God opened the eyes of the assembly. That's right. And what did they do? With that, all the assembly cried out with a loud voice. And did what? And praised and God. And praised God. Who saveth them that trust in him. Who saved them that trust in him. And they arose against the two elders. They arose against the two elders. For Daniel had convicted them of false witness by their own mouth. Amen. Amen. They were convicted as liars by their own words. And according to the law of Moses. According to the law of Moses. They did unto them in such sort as they maliciously intended to do yes. to their neighbor. Yes. And they put them to death. Thus the innocent blood was saved the same day. The innocent blood saved was saved the same day. The same day. Therefore shall Caius and his wife praise God for their daughter Susanna with Joachim her husband and all the kindred because there was no dishonesty found in her. From that day forth was Daniel had in great reputation in the sight of of the people. God will use somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I said, you read all that just to deal with, do you have the ministers back? Yes. That's right. Yes, because I got to show you all sides of it. That's right. I have to show you all sides of it. I, 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 don't, I, I cannot respond quick. I have to look at the whole picture. Amen. All right, next question. Second question. Mm -hmm. If a minister comes under you with his church, is he exempted from reproof just because he brought in his congregation? Is he exempted from what? From reproof. From reproof? Yes. Because of what? Because he brought in his congregation. Does <laughs> 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 a chicken have lips? Amen. <laughs> You don't find a chicken with lips like a human being. That's right. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, if you be without chastisement, wherein all are partakers, then you are bastards and not sons. No, I mean, because a brother may come and bring his congregation in, none of us is exempted from reproof. No. In fact, reproof develops a person. That's right. It shows you what's in the person. Right. It exposes weak points and strong points. Yeah. And if a brother is humble, he will submit to reproof. Man. If he's not humble, he'll run from reproof. Man. And a man who cannot submit to reproof will never be a good soldier. That's yeah. right, man. Because the book says, endure hardness as a good soldier. And a good soldier got to have a good drill sergeant. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Amen. You know, that question made me think of a conversation that me and my older brother, Bishop Ellis, had earlier this year in the summer. You know, we would call each other once in a while and check up and see how he's doing or whatnot. And uh, I, I, he said to him, he said, listen, I want you to know, <laughs> and, that, and that high pitched voice, what kind of soldier you have. Yeah. He said, now listen, if you got to get me, he said, I understand your position as a leader. He said, if you got to get me, don't hold back. Yeah. He said, if you got the time in me, do it. He said, I'm not the type of soldier that if you lay me out, I'm going to run and hide. That's right. He Good. said, I'm a real soldier. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. 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 That's wonderful, isn't it? It's wonderful. That's wonderful. He said, ain't the type of man who you can... A real soldier. Hey, real soldier. <laughs> hey, what you talking about? What you talking about? Oh, 
until he put me up. Really? Really? Well, if your job demoted you and altered your pay and you ain't got no job nowhere else, would you leave the job or would you accept the demotion so you can keep getting that money? That's right. You're going to accept that demotion because you know you got to have money to buy food. That's right. That's right. If you think you're too big yeah. to be corrected, yeah. you will never be saved. Yeah. No. Amen. Amen. Never. Amen. In your heart. Your harness as a good soldier. As a good soldier. Not Jesus just a Christ. soldier. Good soldier. Good soldier. Good soldier. Good soldier. In your heart. A good soldier. You know, in the military, they got that wall with that rope. Yep. Yeah. And they climb up. Mm -hmm. If they ain't used to that kind of rope, you can find a foot going all through it. Yeah, Drill starts right behind it. What's the matter with you, private? Are you weak? What's the matter? You want your mommy? What's the matter? You want your mommy? Do you want? What's all you thinking of that now? Hey, up, hey, up, hey, up, hey, up. A real soldier. What is the purpose of the drill sergeant? The purpose of going through the obstacle course is to build you up physically. The purpose of the drill sergeant constantly hounding you is to build you up mentally. Go ahead. You jumping around, shouting, and running back and forth. Go ahead, man. But can you accept the proof? That's right. Or are you going to run, get in your spirit, and all of a sudden you get the proof, and you just keep running? <laughs> and run right out the church. Run right out the church. Right out. You want to be a man of God? You got to accept that word. Amen. Am I right, I said? You've got to accept that way. Whatever you're weak to, ask God to help you. That's it. Well, brothers didn't speak to me in church. 
Do you quit your job when your boss don't speak to you? Right. Do you quit your job when the employers, the other employees don't speak to you? Do you leave school because the principal didn't speak to you that day? Endure Endure hardness Hardness As as a good Good soldier Get your backpack on That's it Have it loaded with prayer Go ahead man Fasting Go ahead Scripture Go ahead In order to elevate the brotherhood You must be prayerful as men It's more then verbally back at me. Hoorah! That's right. <laughs> Amen! That's right. Oh yeah! A real man must take lessons from God's word to shape and fashion him as a soldier. There's man, brother, but then there's soldier. Soldier. What are you? Yeah. Wonderful. In order to be a soldier, don't look for me to always be easy with you. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's, right. That's true. I got several letters that people said, were you ever in the Marines? I never was in the Marines, but I am a soldier. Yes, sir. Good soldier. I got to be a drill sergeant. Yeah. Our men today in religion has become weak. Look at the kind of men that's drawn to the truth of God. If you look at the message service we had in Sacramento, listen at the testimonies of some of those men. That's right. Gang bangers. Men that had a wicked, sinful, hardcore life cannot afford to have a shallow, weak, timid, scared preacher. That's right. That's right. Pastor Jennings ain't got no love. What do you call love? You're not in church to look for special attention from leadership. What do you think church is? That's right. I'm in church to eat. Yeah. That's God word. That's it. Save myself. That's it. If the teacher or the leader is here or not, That's it. save myself. That's right. That's right. Not about special attention. Because I don't believe in church favorites. No. I don't believe in church pets. No. I believe in God's word. That's it. Don't ever be the type of soldier. Hallelujah. The true test of a soldier is war. Come on. See, I don't care how much you say you love the brotherhood. The true test of brotherhood is war. What is war? We always are in war with self. But when you love the brotherhood, you don't try to destroy that brother. That's right. That's right. You don't try to kill your brother. That's right. That's right. That's why when the preachers all over social media yelling about us and trying to get people to leave, they tell them, don't listen to Pastor Jennings. But they, the people can't help it because of God, God. not because of us. That's right. God. That's it. You men, even you that are sinners, gang bangers, gun carriers, knives, and Cigarette suckers and beer guzzlers. Yeah. You work for the devil. Oh, yeah. You run the streets because the devil is your master and you are loose like an ungodly slave. Right. You claim you a man because you carjacked somebody and knocked up a bunch of women and got about 10 babies and you won't even take care of one. You think you're a man because you have multi-sex and you hold people up and carjack and rob banks and steal and do everything you want to do. There ain't no man. Nobody is a real man until you obey your Lord. That's right. No 
over. Right. Oh, Pastor Jennings, I feel as though you don't have love. What is your definition of love? Because according to the Bible, God is love. Is love. Right. And if I do the will of him that sent me, I stand for love. love. But love right. is not centered around special attention and church favorites. Right. You too wish to accept reproof. Yes. You will never settle in no congregation. Yeah. Because if you get laid out in one place, you're going to take off. If you get laid out in that place, you're going to take off. And the moment you become a runner, dragging your family here, there, and everywhere, everywhere you ain't stop, they're going to pick up a spirit there, a spirit there, a spirit there. And you will never develop into a real man. God said, let us make man. Go ahead. In our image. Hallelujah. After our likeness. That's right. So God made man in his own image. Yes, he did. Not church hopping. No. Pastor Jennings don't like me. I don't like none of you. That's right. How you like that? Never did. I never did like you. That's right. I love you. That's right. I say like Paul said to the church, ye are my joy. Glory to God. So as men, you have to be able to take the word. Not be the type of man to only come to church when there's a convention. And then you stay out all year. That's not a brother. No. You's a visitor. Don't go to none of the branch churches to walk with the word. Let's pop up during convention. Pop up. When you love a thing, you're loyal to it. And you just have to be a part of it. Because it's in you. Hallelujah. And tell somebody, look at you. You going to church again? Yes. You going to church again? Yes. But you're tired. I know it. And I'm going to church again. To church again. <laughs> There's a sense of commitment, loyalty, that drives you to the house of the God of Jacob. That's right. Many of us have been committed to earthly things in our lifetime but have never been committed to the God of heaven. Are you listening? That's right. All right. I got any more there? One more question. All right, one more question. Last question. All right. Please explain the dangers of a family church. Amen. Family church. Better read that question again. Question. This person says, please explain the dangers of a family church. Let's go to work. Yeah. All, right. All of us who love God and have family want our family to be saved. That's right. That's without question. The dangers of a family church is when the pastor justifies and refuse to reprimand or correct 
family members. And he cannot make no decisions in the church without his family's vote. That's right. Am I right, Brother Jennings? He need his family's approval before he make a decision and the decision may be a biblical decision and he won't even make a decision based upon that without getting his family's approval. What did Jesus say about the family? Who is? Who is? My mother. mother. Sister. Brother. And brother. But he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven the same is my brother, sister, and mother. And mother. You preachers Amen. who need your family's approval for something, you don't need to be in the pulpit. No. Because what's going to happen, what's going to happen, when your family is seen running the church, them that are not members of your family is going to end up leaving the church. If you reprimand a family meeting or have a church business meeting, it won't function on biblical order. Because you're going to find problems within the family spilling over in the church. Amen. And they're not going to look at the pastor as a minister of God. They're going to look at him as Uncle Fred, Uncle, Uncle Peter, That's right. Uncle James, Daddy, yeah. Grandpa. Yeah. Why you got to say that? My mother is here. My wife is here. My children. I got some nephews here. Some niece. Nieces. 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 <laughs> but uh, they all know. They ain't even got to figure it out. You ask all of them, any of them. The pastor just got favoritism. They'll look at you like you said something foul. That's right. I have no respected person. Respect person. With my blood brother, Deke. Stand up, Deke. Just stand up. Put the camera on him. I want everybody to see him. When we started to work in New York, and Brother Minister Harris was doing a good job, Harrison, in New York. My brother one Sunday was ill, and he called me and let me know. And we sent Brother Minister, my brother, deep up in New York to Bronx. Before I got home good, my cell phone was jumping. Because he got up in a pulpit and was teaching things he had no business teaching. And it wasn't scriptural. I didn't care if it was my brother. That's right. So when I called, he was in the car with brothers and put me on speaker. He didn't know why I called him. But I unleashed all scripture on him. He said, well, 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 I, I, got, I got you on speaker. Wait till I get home. <laughs> I said, I ain't waiting nothing. You were told not to do such and such a thing. Now you're going to carry yourself back to New York and go before the church and repent. And when you come back to Philadelphia, sit down. Amen. If you can't follow leadership, sit down. And there he sat. <laughs> when it comes to that Bible, I don't care who you are. That's true. That's true, Pastor. The danger of a family church. Now, many of you watching me now, you're in a family church. Your father is the pastor. The wife is the treasurer. 
Nobody else in the church is allowed to do anything but family. Well, Pastor Jen, I suppose there's no one else in the church but family. All right, well, if you're in a situation like that where things have to get started, I understand. But if you got other people that came in who got skill and more skill maybe than your family member, and they are honest and sincere, why don't you change it? That's right. You that are in family churches that have to vote before your hey, preacher, 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 you got to cast a vote with your family before a decision is made, you going to hell for that. That's right. If a preacher want to walk with the, the truth, you're supposed to be the leader of your home. That's right. And you know this is the truth? That's right. You got to ask your wife, what you think? <laughs> what you well, honey, honey, who teach you strict? Well, it's in the Bible. I don't care. It's in the Bible. Now, you can go ahead to that if you want. <laughs> now, you go on. You know what you women do. Da, na, 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 na. You know the way you do. And because he's scared to have a cold bed, he won't walk with the truth out of retaliation. That's right. From family members. That's right. You ain't no preacher. No. You see, God got a way of showing you you. That's right. The danger of a family church, you need their approval yeah. before you obey God. Well, me and my family need to be on one accord. No, you need to be on one accord with God. God, amen. Are you listening? Amen. So you that got nephews, nieces, aunts, and you go to churches where your uncle or your brother or cousin is the pastor, and family is making decisions to run things, leave that church. Leave it. <laughs> pastor Dennis. Suppose one of them is first church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Leave that church. Amen. Okay, who it is? Jesus said, upon this rock I'd build my church. My church. This governs the church. Listen, if my wife or children or mama and brother and nieces and nephews and aunts and cousins ain't running the truth of God. Where are you? Now I know some of you watching this probably is upset and on the phone calling others now because you're watching this live over the air. But I don't care. That's right. The dangers of a family church is the family will cause the people to go to hell. That's right. And if the so-called preacher makes decisions because he's scared of retaliation from his family, it shows you're not a preacher and you have no Holy Ghost backbone. Amen. Are you listening? You mean to tell me, Pastor Jennings, your wife don't influence you at all when it comes to church? You couldn't even get my wife to interfere with the things of God. God, that's right. Because she don't want to go to hell. That's right. She know my place and respect my place. She know her place and respect her place. That's right. So I want to say to you cousins and uncles and aunts and nieces who's helped running the pulpit. Mm. You ain't in no church. And a church like that don't become fruitful and multiply. No. Because whoever in the congregation that's not related to the preacher, and if there's a family member don't like him or her or them, and go crying to Uncle Sam and <laughs> Uncle Charlie and Uncle Peter, Uncle Sam and Uncle Charlie gonna get up in the pulpit and attack that man or woman who's not a family member. That's right. 
the danger of a family church it will lead you to hell so I want all Uncle Charlie's all Uncle Tom's out there Amen. all you Uncle Tom that lean to your family yeah. you going to hell Amen. you and your family that's right Jesus said upon this rock I build my church right, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So all decisions, all decisions must come from the word of God to, to put your family in place. What does it look like the man is up preaching and his wife jump up? Well, look, I don't want to hear that. Nephew getting up, laying the women out in the church. Aunt get up, rebuking me. It's all open in church. In church. Yeah. Church business is no game. Yeah. Family, do not have the right to run God's church. That's right. You preachers that gave them that right. Get out the pulpit. Amen. You're not fit to pastor a fake dog. You know, a fake dog. You know, sometimes folks got stuffed animals. The dog just sit there. Yes. Why you ain't fit to even pastor the fake dog? Amen. All right. Let's close out Acts 2 38. Then Peter said, What? Repent. All right, whoa. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of God. Everything that's watching and everything that's here, it's time for you to give your life over to your master and Jesus is he. That's right. Repent. Now, there's so much devilment that you know you're done. Amen. You know you need to repent. Hard head, stiff neck, uncircumcised of heart. Where's uh, my, you that's the singing group, you come on up here. So you can get ready to sing me out. Come on, get them kinks out your bones and get on over here to my far right because I'm about to get off the air. Amen. And I want every come on now, let's move quick. I'm about to get off the air and I want to close out with this song. I want to close it out. And you that are asleep, you can wake up. Amen. Amen. You can wake up now. The Bible says, then Peter said to them, Repent. Do you want to go to hell? Do you want to go to hell? Do you want to go to hell and burn? Hmm. If any of you think you're too cute to hell, for hell, for you to see. If any of you fellows think you're too handsome, got too much money, you're to see. Yeah. Uh -huh. You got to repent for your own. Repent for staying out of church. You'll go everywhere else but church. Right. Well, I'm wish you. Talk your foolish talk. You ain't with God. Repent. Repent. Yeah. If you bow your head and raise your hand, you're a sinner. Got on the morning's bench, you got several different works of grace. Sinner. Been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Sinner. Yeah. Join the church. Sinner. Been sprinkled in some Catholic church. Sinner. Held the preacher's hand and repeated sinner's prayer. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Wash me. Cleanse me. Jesus ain't came nowhere near your heart. Let the preacher's hand alone. Sinner. Then Peter said to them, Repent. And what? And be baptized. How much? Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, choir. Let's move quick, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. For what? For the remission of sins. They get your sins washed away. And what did he promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Anybody Lord. want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet. Come on, stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. All right, choir, you can get started. All right, choir, let's get started right now, please. You can get started. Anybody want to get baptized, stand on your feet. All of you that are standing, go to the back. You can get started right while I'm talking. You that are standing, go to the back. All right, viewers. Tune in again next week. Let us all May God bless you.
We are grateful for your word. We are grateful for all of us who have received your word. We pray that we do not leave the way we came, but that your will be done on our lives. Bless us now, we pray. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you thanks. Amen. Amen.